Well, hello there. Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Cosmeteer, Starship Architect and Commander. Now, I, I can't even begin to describe how good this game is. As soon as I saw a, a video, um, I think it was Blitz I saw playing this, I was like, I've got to play this game. This looks amazing. And when I looked, I thought I'm going to have to try and request a key or buy it. Uh, I couldn't believe it's actually free. So it's... Uh, I, I, I can't even begin to imagine to tell you how, how fun this is. Right, so we're going to go ahead and do a new game. Uh, so we're starting from fresh. Uh, I might go for the tutorial mode because I don't know if other people have, but it's pretty good and it's a good little reminder for myself as well for all uh, the stuff in the game. So let's do new game. And bounty hunter, learn how to play. Okay, so this is the start. So this is my... It doesn't actually look like... I don't think it's going to reset my... Um, is it going to reset my um, tutorial? I don't think it is. Um, it says show, show to... Oh, there you are. Reset tutorials. There we go. Uh, yes, keep my settings. Resume. Right, here we go. So... Otherwise, it won't show you this. So, controlling the camera. Now, you can move the controller down by um, holding down the middle uh, mouse button and scrolling round, or do WASD, AD, which is what this is going to tell you to do. Okay. Uh, oh, a good tip. If you lose control of your ship, if you're clicking over here, press F, and you'll zoom back to your ship. Okay, we got this. Right, here's the mini-map, which is down here. Green is you, red are enemies. You can click on the map like that. And that's about all there is for that one. Uh, flying your ship is quite simple. You just right click anywhere. I've got this in pause. If I press space, I'll unpause. There you go. Wee! I can try and. Are you going to spin around in a circle? Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, attacking the enemy. Right, to attack an enemy, you just simply right click. So you can, you can either move in range like this and then do it, or you can just go attack and you've actually got a, a radius around your ship i think that's i don't know if that's your visual range or your actual um attack range but uh, we'll talk about the weapons a little bit so this is my ship at the moment as you can see i've got three guns on it i've got three blaster parts for it three small laser blasters now these use energy now where do you get energy from you may ask shirley rocks well reactor cores that's where you get energy cores from uh so i'm gonna go ahead and pimp my ship a little bit first of all so you do start off with a little bit of money so i can actually add some more stuff so i'm gonna try and just go for electro bolts and lasers i think um now, you can right-click and rotate it all round. So I'm going to stick an extra thing there, the electro one, and I'm going to put an also a, um, a plasma storage. These all use electricity, I believe. So if we stick this over here, it means that we are going to get the power to all these. I mean, we could actually do it here. That'll be a nicer place. If we do it in the middle there... Now, if we unpause this now, you should start seeing people loading up the cores from there into that room there. Actually, let's, let's not move for the moment. Are we moving? Yeah, we're moving. Um, right, let's, let's move away a little bit. Don't want to fight just yet. Come on, inertia. Oh. Looks like battle might be engaged. Okay, then. So we are going to fight him then. Right. So you can just right-click on it and say, I want to attack. I'm going to spin around. You can s slow the time down, down to a quarter time if you want. Zoom in and see your ship. So as you can see here, hopefully, now you should see these start bringing cubes to these. These are the energy banks here, the yellow bits. You'll start seeing me losing energy. As you can see, now you can target individual weapons. If you hover over something, so I can go, right, laser blaster. Target on that. Okay. Oh, also as well, um, I've, I've seen some people um, struggling to keep track of this. If you simply right uh, middle click with your mouse button, you will zoom in on the ship and you won't lose tr track of it. So 
now I've got to slow down. You can see I'm actually uh, targeting fire on this. Nice. Okay, I think that's pretty dead. Yep. And then you can pick off his other stuff. So you can go for the thrusters or point defense system. Let's go for that next. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Now, if you sh I'm just going to go for the reactor core. If you manage to shoot the reactor core, it is game over for him. Or, or if you shoot the control room as well, actually. Let's try and get his control room. So, nicely, you can see up there. So you can see I'm flashing, which means power. I'm actually out of power with these rooms. If we shoot this, he won't be able to fly or coordinate his weapons. Nice. And then we can just go for his core. So, he was, he's not going to be able to... Wait a minute. I thought you couldn't move. Alright, let's take your thrusters out then. Come on. I'm just running out of energy all the time. Alright, go on. Shoot these thrusters. So if you shoot these, he's not going to be able to move. Right, that should be enough now to... Wait a minute, we'll get that one. There we go. Just pretty much wrecking his whole ship. Right, there we go. That should be enough to get him. There we go. Wow. That was how how not to fly your ship. Now, you can see we're out of energy at the moment, so these are all going to uh, get energy from there, do it in all the rooms. You can speed this up if you want. There we go. And you should start seeing this filling up now with energy. Okay. Right, let's pause. So let's go back back to the let's go back to the tutorial, Shirley Rocks, instead of just jumping right into it. So you pause time by pressing space. There you go. Uh, you can also speed it up or slow it down using the uh, buttons up here. So that's on the fastest. That's on the slowest, and that's on normal. Okay, we got it. So, as the tutorial said there, uh, you can uh, attack the enemy ship by right-clicking, and if you get the enemy reactor, that's game over, power is gone. Now, you can upgrade your ship, which I've, I showed you a little bit just then. Oh, let's repair all. So, if you go to the build icon, so these are all the different uh, building options. So, we've got weapons, we've got munitions, we've got defenses, We've got flight, we've got crew, uh, we've got power, and we've got miscellaneous. So uh, you add a part, as I showed you, by clicking on it there and then clicking on it up there. Now, you don't really have, I don't believe, hit points as such on your ship. You do have this, like, chassis sort of thing, and you can't build in certain areas. They must be, like, the frameworks of your, your ship, I'm guessing, but... I can't place on certain areas, so you do have to sort of build around it. Um, let's read a little bit more about this. You can pick up a part and move it somewhere else. Use a grab tool. So if I go ahead and gra get my grab tool, which I've got selected, I can go, I don't want that there. I want it there. Or you can go, I don't want that there. I want it there. I mean, it's a bit annoying, the, the grab tool, because say, for instance, if I move that, 32,000. Right, 31,236. I'm sure we're losing money. We're moving that. So, yeah, let's let's keep moving it. That makes perfect sense. Um, What is actually that room there? I don't think it's anything. Let's unpause it. Yeah, that's nothing. Uh, power. So reactors here make the uh, power. They carry the little batteries. And there is recommendations over here. So it's recommended I've got a minimum of six crew. 14 is the optimum. So it reckons I should have six crew. And I should have my power should be minimum of five, recommended nine. I think I'm sort of in between at the moment. I, d I could do with more crew, though. Uh, if you go here, I've got eight crew and eight beds, so you can add more beds. Now, you can add quarters or you can add bunks, so let's go and add uh, a quarter. Quarters, sorry, that'll give me uh, six. So, if we do that now, now, it doesn't automatically give you the crew, though, so 
You do then have to... Uh... Oh, no, it does give you the crew. I think you must lose some of the crew in combat sometimes. So if you look now, I've got 14 crew and 14 beds. So we're pretty much on the optimal uh, and for the power. Um, okay. I've showed you repairing your ship. It's just uh, you can click on individual units or you can do repair for all. And you can actually... This is pretty cool. You can just show the outside of the ship. Oh, yeah, look at the little lookout points there. That is cool. Yeah, you can do that, or you can do inside and see all of the stuff. Um, a red part doesn't have a crew member, so say if I go on this and go, right, I really want um, a large cannon. Wow, that is, that is, <laughs> that is a large cannon. <laughs> right, I'm, uh, I'm only going to sort of add this in just to show it. I don't know what it's going to be like. Right, now... As you can see now, that is flashing because that needs munitions. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we've talked already about crew. So cannons and missiles use ammunition. And uh, missiles, of course, use missiles. So how do we get ammunition? So I've just got that massive big gun there, large cannon. Oh, this is going to be funny. Um, I don't really need this room at the moment. So let us get rid of that. Right, so for this one here, we're going to need two things. We're going to need an ammo factory and ammo storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an ammo factory here. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll put ammo storage there. And then we're going to put the ammo factory here. And then they're going to supply each other. So let's unpause this now and watch, and watch it uh, power up. So... Ammunition shells are getting made. And they are getting loaded now. Wow, that does take a lot of uh, ammo. Now, you can do things like defences. So, there is this I noticed. There's a shield generator and point defence. I think that'll be for shooting missiles. So, let's try and do this. I'm going for a shielded one here. So we're just going to have shields and... Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and this big projectile gun. Okay. As you can see, my power requirements have now changed. So it recommends... Um, I've got 11 power. I've got more than enough power, I think. Oh, now, the reason this isn't getting powered is... Let's pause it. Now, you do need to do corridors in this game. So, if we go ahead to... Uh, ugh, corridor. So, I've got to figure out where I would have connected that to all of this. So, this is going to need electricity. So, look. Oh, I can't build there. I can do a door here, though. So, what I could do is I could do that there, that there. Now, if we unpause it, we should see this getting uh, hooked up now we're going to need quite a lot of power at the front so let's uh, do another storage up here somewhere um, it's not that much nearer than that though is it really could do it there but I just took the thruster off so let us do another thruster Oh, it's just out. Oh, there you go. It'll do there. Okay, so... The way that the uh, ships seem to work on this, it's all inertia. So these at the back are going to push for push the ship forwards. They're going to push it that way. They're for going backwards. That's for going that way. And that was for going that way. So I, I do think you probably need to, like, balance, balance them a little bit. Okay. We're powered up now. I do believe... Yes, shields are all charged. Okay. Out of build mode. And into kill mode. Wow, that almost like rhymes and sounded good. So it says there about the thrusters. You need to add thrusters to increase your and maneuverability. Uh, too few thrusters you can't fly. A uh, speedy and maneuverable starship has many thrusters at various locations. Hmm. Right. Let's see how this does now. I want to see how this how this gu this gun does. So we're gonna we're gonna click on this. Come on. 
fanged fighter. So you kind of look at it before you initiate combat and go, right, so he's got thrusters, he's got laser blasters. Okay, so let's target that laser blaster. Now, I want to slow the time right down because I want to see these guns fire because I reckon they're going to be pretty funny. Okay, it's lining up the shot. Come on. Oh, has this got like the slowest uh, time to fire ever? Is it going to fire? Okay, we were, I don't think we were in range. Come on, we've got to be in range now. Oh, there we go, right. Let's uh, let's watch this, watch this ship now. I'll watch this hopefully hit. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I think this is going to be too nimble for the, those big bullets. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you, you just missed it. But you know what? Let's just go for the main oh, main uh, middle of the ship. Oh, 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 oh. Is that going to... Oh, that was a good hit. Is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? Oh, that is so powerful. Nice. Right, let's go for the core now. Yeah, so that's slow firing, but oh boy, those, those are powerful. All right, let's speed it up. Oh, we're just toying with it, look. Nice. We've got 10,000 credits from that. Okay, so I've actually not got damaged at all by that. I have used up all my ammo, though. Nice, those shields work, then. Right, I'm feeling confident. Let's... uh. Let's head towards the next one. So this game is just, it's one of them games that I can just see it being really, really fun for people because you've just got so much you can do in it. You've got uh, the different ships you can make, different designs. I mean, the, the only, I suppose the only bad thing is that I'm absolutely terrible at ship design. So I, I'm gonna make a lot of flying ships that look like flying uh, cannons. So here we go. We're gonna try and get this one. Here we go. Don't forget to uh, control and zoom in again. I'm going for the uh, command module again. Okay, engaged. Let's see how how well are my defenses doing then. So let's uh, slow it down a little bit. Unpause it. So it looks like my uh, shields appear to be stopping it. Nice. You can even see them reloading the ammo. Look. Oh, that is so cool. Nice, four shells per shot by the look of it. Okay, let's see it going in. Oh, <laughs> he got wrecked. Oh, you got even more wrecked. Oh, that's gonna hit, that's gonna hit. Look, it's like, it's like hovering in space. Come towards me. Oh, ricochet. You got no chance. Come on. Oh, there's only a little bit left. Look, it's reactor car core. Right, that's got to hit. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Wow. Right. So once you finish menacing all the people in this uh, area, I've not even got damaged. Right, the next thing you can do is FTL travel, so it's just faster than light travel, so... Uh, a large ship requires multiple FTL drives. Now, I'm going to try and just put one on for now. They are quite expensive. They are 10,000 uh, 10, credits. That is quite a lot, so I'm going to stick an FTL drive there. Now, one thing I liked about this game, I think the thing that mainly made me think I want to play this game is the sound effects. There's just so many good boopity boops and stuff. It's really good. So, I'm currently, I'm currently waiting for uh, all of this to get... Uh, Refilled a little bit. Let's put it. Let's speed it up. Listen to these sounds. It is good. Now, if you thought those sounds are good, wait till you hear the FTL drive. Okay, so this is the galaxy map. So this is all the area you can explore. So if you click on an area, it'll give you a skill level and how many enemies. So this is for four enemies and it's amateur. Okay, and it'll cost seven energy to get there. Okay, 
Now this one here is professional. It's going to take uh, eight energy to go there. I'm going to go for that professional one. I don't know if my ship will be any good there, but here we go. Right, let's listen, listen to this baby charge. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we're now charged and ready to go. Let's go. Oh, that's so good. That is so satisfying. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, so we're now in this next sector. So, uh... It does talk a little bit more about uh, FTL Travel there, which I've already talked to you about. Um, and, ooh, the, this is interesting. So uh, these are some of the, con the camera controls. So as I said before, you can hold down the middle mouse button and twerk it. You can focus on a ship by clicking the mouse button on an object. I think you can do it. Do you need to actually be sighted on them? Yeah, you do need to be sighted on them. You can focus on multiple ships, apparently. I've not tried that one yet. By holding the Alt key, uh, left click and drag a box around the ships. So, hmm, that might be quite interesting to uh, zoom in and see. Let's uh, let's zoom in and try and uh, see that one. I think that's the end of the tutorials now. Well, let's uh, quickly check the crew. So, it's recommended I've got 24. And I've actually got... I need another 10 crew, so let's go ahead and get some more crew quarters. So, crew quarters, here we go. Uh, quarters do six crew, and bunks do two crew. Hmm. So that's six there. And let's stick another eight in there. Um... Looking for some more space. Uh, might not be the safest place to put them. So ooh, how many crew have we got now then? We've got 24 crew. Nice. So we should. If we unpause that. See a lot more people helping load up. Nice. Nice efficient crew there. Okay. Ooh. We're actually in range, I think. Let's see. This is professional. This is a professional ship. So what's he got? Whoa, he's got he's got a, a cannon as well. Right, let's try and take that cannon out straight away. Oh, my shields seem to be holding up for now. Nice. It's actually got lasers and stuff on the back. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hoping my cannons do their job. Nice. Let's get his laser blasters. Let's try and target them. Are my shield still holding up? Mm, they appear to be. Let's just get rid of his lasers. Nice. <laughs> now, did we get damaged at all? I don't believe we did. We didn't get damaged. Anyway, it keeps uh, saving as you go along. You can do manual saves like this. Uh, I'm going to just save it and just call it. Episode 1. Okay, I'm going to quit back to the um, main menu now. I also talk about the uh, some of the other options in here as well. So there is actually a, a mod section. Um, that one uh, gives you a... Increases the starting credits in Bounty Hunter mode to... Uh, is that a billion? What? Uh, example mod. Mod demonstrates how to create other mods. Um, example ships library. So there is a few, there, there is mod support. I mean, I am tempted to do those, but I don't know if my PC will cry and explode if I try and do them. So you get massive galaxies and massive ships. Um, you got ship library as well. So you got your you got your ships there, and there's also a built-in ship section. So, ooh, can we actually pilot these or look at them? Oh, you can play test them. So I'll just quickly scroll through these ships so you can look through them and go, that's not the Slash Ship Enterprise and it just looks just like it. Um, these look some pretty interesting crew um, ships, sorry. I f Do you know what? I fancy, what the heck? 220 crew. Right, play test. Oh my goodness. Just look... <laughs> Look at the size of it! Oh man, it's so big! It's so... that is ridiculous! 
Oh, my mind's just been blown. To expand your fleet, press the buy button when you have more than one ship. To control multiple ships at once. Oh, I've just had a game gasm. Um, creating mode allows you to create and battle ships with virtually unlimited credits. Oh, that is so cool. I just thought this game couldn't get any better, and it just has. I did not look in that little uh, option there. you got all your standard community stuff there as well. Uh, standard settings here. You can uh, turn various things. You can check for new versions. You can show your FPS. You can uh, edit all your uh, controls and stuff. That's one thing I didn't I didn't show the uh, the fact that you can actually um, change the uh, the color of your ships. Let me quickly load up this. Uh, you can actually change the color of your ship. So you can choose your base color here by altering the hue. So say you want it dark. Oh, that's not dark green. That's that's light green. So you've got like the the base colors there. I could just make it black. And then you've got like the hues. So you've got like camouflage paint and stuff. You can see it better if you move it around a little bit like that. Um, you can, I think you can alter the lightness and darkness. You can do it really dark. There you go. Makes it really hard to see my ship now. But anyway, so that's all I'm going to show for the um, the game for now. But this is this is a really good game. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to know if you guys and girls have got any ideas for any chips you'd like to see. It looks like you can pretty much create any type of ships you want in this or any tips. I mean, that ship I actually randomly built then, that's did, that's done better than any of my previous ships. So uh, my, I'm quite interested to see how far I can get with that ship. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Cosmeteer. And as I've said before, it's free to play. If you've liked watching this video, uh, don't forget to leave a uh, comment, do a thumbs up, check that, check that little uh, notification button as well so you know when I've got a new video out and drop me a sub as well so you'll also know that way if I've got a new video out. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. I'll see you next time.